Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. And that's all this old fool knows. Sorry, can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Aye, all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you can make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this, then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, the one where the desire dictates your behavior. The results of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again and... That's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor? Is that what I truly am? Ah, all of our night's work. What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Alright, here we go. Our goal is to connect up all the memory links? To bring his desire to go to the moon? All the way to the past. Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the register or desire. Thankfully, those connecting edges do not have to stay connected. The desire now exists in his elder years, not just the end of his life. So if we break the connection, it won't be an issue. Let's see, what is common between these two? The rabbit. The rabbit is common. So we need to link up the rabbit. There we go. And then, just for fun, I want to see if I can keep these connected as long as possible. I don't know if it's possible, but I would like to try. Oh yeah, it's already impossible. Hey Eva, check this out! Om nom 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 nom. Seriously? I mean, let him have his fun. All right, transferred back to his young adult days. 
Now we just gotta get it back to high school. And that'll be the clock. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Not this time, hon. All right, let's head back to old age. And let's go see how his trip to the moon went. This is the same setting as his real last successful memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Hmm. Did we fail? Were we not able to make him go to the moon? Because we couldn't get to that last memory? Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him, too. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. Uh, it transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire won't doesn't work alone, why is there no change at, uh, at all? Perhaps, perhaps he just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? I mean, it's a little heavy-handed, but... Where is Neil? Also, ah, those moments when you play through a game multiple times and you pick up on little, little itty-bitty details that you didn't notice before. This is like my ninth or tenth time playing this game and I just caught something that I never noticed before and it got me crying! Did you see To the Moon? How was it? 
it has a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a more, bit more, oh, je ne sais quoi. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. A little too on the nose. Where is Neil? Maybe in the theater? To the moon, darling! Oh, Henry! Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Alright, let's hop, hop back into him? Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Please, even the slightest change. Off to a bad start. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. L Lily? Perhaps something here could work. How are we going to make him go to the moon? So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Okay, this is something we can go off of. Hey, don't squeeze. Maybe we can leverage whatever this is? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? Oh. As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chance do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No. Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true, in fact, if you try to bike around the moon. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that! And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. I'm speechless. Neil! <laughs> you, you were offended by a child! Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was plain enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you going to see if that worked? Of course, be right back. 
back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as... Well... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay the... But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can! Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we rarely have anyone. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. Free pony rides in space! Oh look, a wedding! Good for you! But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? River? Dagnabbit, glass slippery. Johnny, J John. What the cucumber? Phew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up to run. Uh, I didn't sign up for this job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't. But look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. <laughs> 